The human eye is a complex organ responsible for vision. It functions by capturing light from the environment, focusing it to form an image and transmitting the information to the brain, which interprets it as sight. Here is an overview of its structure and function. Cornea. The cornea is the transparent dome-shaped outer layer covering the front of the eye. It reflects or bends light entering the eye, contributing to about 65 to 75% of the eye's focusing power. Aqueous humor. A clear watery fluid located in the anterior chamber between the cornea and the lens. Maintains intraocular pressure provides nutrients to the avascular parts of the eye like lens and cornea and removes metabolic waste. Iris, the colored part of the eye consisting of muscle fibers, regulates the size of the pupil, controlling the amount of light that enters the eyes. Pupil, the black circular opening in the center of the iris adjusts its size to regulate the amount of light entering the eye. It dilates means enlarges in low light and constricts means shrinks in bright light. Lens, a transparent biconvex structure located behind the pupil. Fine tunes the focus of light onto the retina by changing its shape which is a process called accommodation. Vitreous humor, a clear gel-like substance filling the space between the lens and the retina, helps maintain the eye's shape and allows light to pass through the retina. Retina, a thin layer of tissue lining the back of the eye, containing photoreceptor cells, rods and cones converts light into electrical signals. Rods are responsible for vision in low light, while cones are responsible for color vision and detail. Macula and fovea. The macula is the central part of the retina and fovea is a small pit in the center of the macula. The macula provides sharp, detailed central vision and the fovea is the point of highest visual acuity. Optic nerve. A bundle of more than a million nerve fibers connecting the retina to the brain transmits visual information from the retina to the brain where it is processed into images. Sclera, the white opaque outer covering of the eyeball provides structure, protection and support to the eye. Choroid, a vascular layer between the retina and the sclera supplies blood and hence nutrients and oxygen to the retina and other parts of the eye. Ciliary body, a ring of tissue that includes the ciliary muscles and ciliary processes located just behind the iris, controls the shape of the lens, accommodation and produces aqueous humor. Visual pathway, light enters the eye through the cornea, passes through the aqueous humor pupil, lens and vitreous humor and finally reaches the retina. Photoreceptor cells in the retina, rods and cones convert light into electrical signals. These signals are processed by other retinal cells and transmitted via the optic nerve to the brain's visual cortex. The brain interprets these signals as images allowing us to see. So, the key idea here is that as light rays pass through different materials, they undergo refraction. Simply put, refraction is the bending of light as it moves from one medium to another. The varying refraction indexes in the eye cause light rays to bend, allowing them to form a focused image on the retina. The retina lined with photoreceptor cells called rods and cones, detects the light's intensity and frequency. These cells process the image and transmit nerve impulses to the brain via the optic nerve. Although the image is initially inverted, the brain corrects this. This process is similar to how a convex lens functions. Understanding the eye's working highlights the crucial role each eye plays in enabling human vision. Eye defects like you may have noticed, the human eyes gradually lose their power of accommodation. In such cases, the person cannot see distinctly and comfortably. There are three common eye defects and they are myopia or nearsightedness, 
hypermetropia or far sightedness and presbyopia these defects are corrected by the use of suitable spherical lenses so here we are going to discuss other eye defects too eye defects also known as refractive errors occur when the shape of the eye prevents light from focusing directly on the retina leading to blurred vision here are some common eye defects myopia or nearsightedness a condition where close objects are seen clearly but distant objects appear blurry it occurs when the eyeball is too long or the cornea is too curved causing light to focus in front of the retina symptoms blurred vision when looking at distant objects squinting eye strain and headaches corrective lenses glasses or contact lenses with concave lenses to help focus light on the retina or refractive surgery like lasik hyperopia or far sightedness a condition where distant objects are seen more clearly than the close ones it happens when the eyeball is too short or the cornea is too flat causing light to focus behind the retina symptoms blurred vision when looking at close objects eye strain headaches and difficulty focusing on nearby tasks corrective lenses with convex lenses to focus light on the retina or refractive surgery can be surely helpful astigmatism a condition where the cornea or lens has an irregular shape leading to distorted or blurred vision at all distances instead of being perfectly round the cornea is more oval shaped causing light to focus on multiple points on the retina symptoms blurred or distorted vision eye strain headaches and difficulty seeing at night it can be corrected by using corrective lenses like glasses or contact lenses with a spherical cylindrical shape to compensate for the irregular curvature or refractive surgery presbyopia an age related defect where the eyes lens loses flexibility making it difficult to focus on close objects it typically begins to develop around the age of 40 symptoms difficulty reading small print needing to hold reading material farther away eye strain and headaches it can be corrected by using reading glasses bifocals trifocals progressive lenses or multifocal contact lenses some people may opt for refractive surgery or lens implants color vision deficiency or color blindness a defect where the eye has difficulty distinguishing between certain colors usually due to the problem with the cone cells in the retina the most common type is red green color blindness symptoms difficulty differentiating between colors or shades of colors especially reds and greens there is no cure but special lenses glasses or contact lenses can enhance color perception for some people amblyopia or lazy eye a condition in which one eye develops poor vision because it and the brain are not working together properly it usually occurs in childhood symptoms one eye may drift or wander or the child may favor one eye over the other there is typically no obvious physical defect treatment involves forcing the brain to use the weaker eye often through patching the stronger eye or using corrective lenses and sometimes surgery strabismus or crossed eye a condition where the eyes do not align properly and point in different directions one eye may look straight ahead while the other turns inward outward upward or downward symptoms misaligned eyes double vision or difficulty focusing on a single object in children it can lead to amblyopia if untreated treatment may include corrective glasses eye exercises patching or surgery to straighten the eyes anisometropia a condition where the two eyes have significantly different refractive powers leading to unequal focus between the eyes symptoms blurred vision difficulty focusing double vision or eye strain it can lead to amblyopia if one eye is significantly weaker corrective lenses glasses or contact lenses or surgery to equalize the refractive power of the eyes can be helpful 
diplopia or double vision a condition where a person sees two images of a single object this can be due to problems with the eye muscles the nerves that control them or the brain symptoms seeing two images of one object which may be horizontal vertical or diagonal treatment depends on the cause and may include corrective lenses eye exercises or surgery in some cases covering one eye may be necessary to prevent double vision these eye defects are typically diagnosed through a comprehensive eye examination and most can be corrected or managed with appropriate treatment